sunglasses. The sunglasses on there. What's up, Josh and JD here today? So I'm gonna change it up in the YouTube this week. Right. We're gonna uh, talk a little bit about listing photography, listing videography. I don't know if we're gonna do a walkthrough video on this. We're definitely gonna do the Matterport. Oh yeah. So we'll do a little bit of that. Show a little bit of what that looks like. But I just wanted to talk a little bit about with the viewers and with you today, since we're doing a little bit of a, you know, this is how I do my listing media. Right. We're going to show you guys how I do listing media too, and just talk about the importance of lining the photos up just right and, you know, showing what's true about the house, most importantly, so that you can really give that house its due and get away from these beasts. Beast. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so let's just dive right into it and get the hell in the house, right? Right. <laughs> what's up? My name is Joshua Smith. I'm with the Home Agent Group. I want to talk to you about what you're up to and how we can expand together. Hey, honestly, uh, I mean you can cut this. <laughs> That's the highlight of our entire trip. You ready? Yeah. Let's go. Let's do it. All right. So first thing I'm gonna actually talk about is my camera setup. Um, so I keep a, a super light tripod because uh, I like to be as mobile as I can. Like I said, we should only be here about a, what, a, what how, how big is this house? Like 3,000 square feet, something like that? Yeah, right around there. Knock it out in an hour and a half, which is kind of quick, uh, but I got your help. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and uh, there's a little bit of a method to the madness. So I kind of know my height and every photographer is going to be a little bit different, but I just want to get it to where I can get it right about middle of my chest uh, because this is a wide angle lens, so it's going to get that nice big landscape of the room but if you get it right around the middle of the chest and you try to keep the camera flat right this is this is parallel with me that's going to give you a, a better perspective than if you're looking down on the room or looking up at the room you want it to, to feel like and look like you would be looking at the room which is a little bit lower because it's wide angle than you think it's not quite going to be eye level i played around a lot with this there's no science to it but that's just how it feels for me <laughs> anyway let's dive in Another thing I like to try to focus on is just doing this a little bit in, I would say, chronological order. Yeah. So we're just going to start right here with the front of the house. So let me photograph this way if you want to come. Yep. Here. I'm not going to talk a whole lot about camera settings. I just want it to look good. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. You know how to use a camera, I know how to use a camera. Your photographer should know how to use a camera. This is for people that are selling a house that want to know what their photos should look like. Right? Right. So if your photos look funny for some reason this might help explain why but come on over here can you see that frame yeah so I'm, I'm slightly off i'm just gonna cut a little bit over here because we also have like this bench right here and i want to catch a little bit of that in this particular photo and then i always get at least a couple of shots gotcha for each frame I'm gonna turn that tv off don't leave the tvs on or fans on i'm gonna turn, turn the fans off too because they you'll be able to see that in the photo Okay. Take a photo from this direction. Alright, now the other thing that I try to do, just what we're talking about, is just try to keep consistent light settings throughout. And then I just try to keep it so that your walls and 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 these edges are all sort of you know, you, you want your straight lines to be straight up and down, if that makes sense. Vertical lines at least, as much as possible. Because as soon as you start to lean a little bit, it starts to look distorted, and that can cause a problem for the for the viewer. Makes sense? Makes sense. All right, so less tutorial, more shooting. <laughs> we got the best <laughs> thing to put up. <laughs> it's better to have more coverage than not enough for sure. Yeah. I find that the brighter your photos, the better. Mm -hmm. uh, and even if you do have to blow out those windows, it's better to just have the windows be blown out because the room needs to be the the focal point, right? Mm -hmm. Who cares if you can see through the windows at the end of the day? Right. It is nicer uh, when you can, but you know the the essence of the room, you know, catching the light coming into the room and seeing how bright it is. You just don't want it to feel dark because then people are going to think it's a dark home. You know, I don't care that those photo that the windows are blown out because the room is illuminated. I can see that ceiling. These lines are straight up and down. And I don't mind this grid being, you know, having a different perspective, a different axis than these walls. Uh, Cause as long as I have something that the eye can focus on and know that they're standing straight up, 
mm -hmm. than right. what they're looking at. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. All right. All right. Get it straight. Okay. All right. Angle, maybe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I like when you can see these columns in three or four different photos. So even if they don't realize that's what's happening, they have the ability to, you know, know where they are in the home. Right. Because like the photos, yeah, they need to look good, but also they need to, they need to help tell the story. A large part of that is where am I in the house? You know, knowing how to get from room to room before you, before you actually get there. get there. Yes, yes. You know, put them, put them right at the head of the table. Oh yeah, that's perfect. You know? So this 16 by 24 lens, or 14 by 24 lens, um, I forget the bottom two numbers and kind of hang around that 16 mark. 16 is about as low as you want to go, about as wide as you want to go. You get below 16, especially below 14, you're in fisheye land. And that's just a little bit too wide. A little Coming bit out a little bit distorted, looking a little... A little so when you see those photos online that's looking like the room is, is kind of warped on the ends, mm -hmm. the, the lens was too wide on yeah. that shot. And then like 24 is a solid, you know, it's not quite 35, but it's a solid uh, close-up. Uh, it's good close-up land, you know? So like here, I can go ahead and get this countertop here and showcase that, those elements, and still see enough of that space of the rest of the room. But 24 is still gonna give you a little bit of breadth. And if you've got a good sharp lens, a good professional quality prime lens, that's going to give you a sharp enough image. You can zoom in if you want, crop it out and get really focused on some of those, those features, all those Mo and Vossets somebody wants to show you. Know? <laughs> you get those brand names. Oh yeah. All right, so walkthrough tours are very important. I tend to stick to Matterport if I can. I always do a Matterport on something if I can. Um, Matterport's a 3D tour. There's a lot of different ways to do like 360 3D tours, uh, but this one is branded, so hence branding is just better. That's I tend to do that because they also host it online for you. It never goes down unless you pull it down. Um, so if your agent has the ability to do this, go for it. Um, there are other ways, obviously, to get the 3D tour, like I said, and then they can have it on their website and do that kind of stuff. You want your listing as searchable as possible. Uh, because Matterport is a long known brand, it's got great SEO. It's one of the reasons why I went ahead and, and sprung for this. This is just a Gen 1. I've had it for four years uh, and I love it. I'm not going to upgrade until I absolutely have to. Uh, we're not going to do a video tour. I don't think we're going to have time for that today. But video walkthrough, I'll come back and get that if I need to, maybe in an open house or something. Um, but for now, this is going to be a great walkthrough tour. People tend to like these better than the video tours anyway. And it's sometimes hard because of the change in light as you go throughout the house to get proper lighting in a video tour as well. So this thing works great. Before I hit start, I'm going to turn that TV off and then I'll be there. There we go. Next up, we could do these photos outside. Uh, biggest thing is obviously we got to clean up trash cans. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of those flags. Again, it's all about just depersonalizing the space. Um, I'm not gonna use a tripod on the outside only because there's some height restrictions I'm gonna have anyway. Uh, and I can balance, you know, the, the things that are not level and some perspective in Lightroom when I upload it later to do all my photo edits. So that's basically it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, we'll get these outside photos. We've got our 3D tour, do the inside photos come back for any video tours that we want to do. And I'm going to get a drone up just to get like an eye level shot of the camera because it's about 20 feet high and I'm not that tall. <laughs> we might go ahead and do some overhead stuff just because we're there. Uh, but other than that, that's basically it. That's how you do your listing photos. You want to make sure that it's nice and level and presentable and true. And that's how you do. Like, follow, subscribe, do whatever you do to get notifications. There's a bell you can click on uh, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Thanks for watching.